All right, thanks, Dave. Well, a $4 million renovation is underway at the Ohupi Regional Library System's Vidalia location. It's still a few weeks out from opening to the public, but our Mariah Congito got a sneak peek at the new space. Check it out. The library has been here since the 60s, and the last time it was renovated was in the 90s. Staff here says everything is new in here except for the steel beams and the bricks holding it up. Even when it was in disrepair and everything was so old and the roof was leaking and the carpet was awful, they still loved it. And I was like, y'all kind of deserve a little bit better. Even though this old library was a sanctuary space for some, staff says many people didn't necessarily feel that way. They kind of had a bad view of the library. Ohupi Regional Library Director Cameron Asbell says she had a big job to do when she became director in 2016. We just had to change the people's perception of the library. Asbell says she and the library board needed to show people that they were willing to put in work to turn this old and dark library around. One of the first people they went to was State Senator Blake Tillery. He told Cameron come up with the plans for a 21st century library. And that's what they did. Library board member Howard Holman says the state gave them $3 million for renovations and with a restored confidence from the community, they raised about $800,000 locally. The biggest donors are who the library is now named after, Dr. Mark and Tanya Spivey. The support means so much. They were given an opportunity to participate. They could have said, no, we're not interested mm -hmm. in supporting the library. The new space is equipped with about 80,000 books and things like the Lasden Genealogy Library, a teen room, a community room, a teaching kitchen, study rooms with smart boards, and a spark lab for weekly kids STEM programming. Every week we have slime making and they build little robots and they do all kinds of stuff. And this space gives us a chance to have it open every afternoon instead of just once a week. As Bell and Holman say, a library brings so much value to the community. We usually check down about 48, 49,000 books a year, 20,000 people a year to come in to use the computers. And it was a constant during the COVID-19 pandemic. When social security offices were shut down and defects, we were here and open helping people keep their benefits and kind of keep things moving. This project wasn't even supposed to start until next year, so they're way ahead of schedule with construction expected to be done in just two weeks. In March, there will be a soft opening for the public and then a grand opening will be held on April 13th. In Vidalia, Mariah Congito, WTOC News.